Okay, hi everyone. So I am going to just recap reliability using uh, the additional practice that was given to you. So if you are not sure about how to, or the whole concept behind how to write a reliability question, I hope this video will help you before the class test. Okay, so uh, when we do a reliability question, right, the first thing that you all need to do will be to read the question and highlight the keywords and key focus of this question. So I've already done it for everyone. Okay, if you look at this question, how reliable is source B? Okay, in helping you to understand if merger would benefit Singapore. So this is the topic okay, that the question is on, which also means that the inferences you are going to make from source B, as well as the inferences from the cross-reference sources. Okay, must talk about whether merger would benefit Singapore or not. Okay, so your possible inferences. Okay, would be, yes. Okay, benefited Singapore. Or no. Okay, did not benefit Singapore. Okay, so as you look at your sources, you will need to be able to identify this. Your initial inference needs to be related to this. Okay, so as what was mentioned in class, when we talk about reliability, okay, your first paragraph, what you will need to actually tell me is about what source B, the base source, can be reliable in saying. Okay, this is asking you to study source B. So source B is the base source, the main source that we are going to analyze. Okay, so source B can be reliable. Okay, in helping me to understand that merger would benefit Singapore. So over here, you are relating the inference. Okay, back to the question topic. Okay, then you are going on to explain why. So why would merger benefit Singapore according to the source? Because the source shows that merger can help to manage the threat of communism. Okay, so what you will need to do next is to go on and give me relevant evidence. So how do we know that? Source B itself shows how Singapore uh, was safe from communism under the British, but also states that with an independent Singapore, anything could happen this might endanger the peace and security of the federation so what you will need to take note here is that the evidence you are quoting for us okay is not randomly picked from the source you need to make sure that the evidence is related to the inference you have made okay so choice of evidence is very important so what you need to do next after giving the evidence is then to tell us, to explain to us how does this evidence prove that a uh, merger would benefit Singapore. So this is where you will go on to say, okay, this suggests how okay, merger was, okay, I'm going to edit the answer a bit. This suggests how merger was beneficial. To Singapore okay, as it is necessary to prevent Singapore. So what you notice I have just done over here when I edit the answer, okay, is to over here okay relate back to the initial inference. Okay, was beneficial to Singapore it is necessary to prevent Singapore from falling to communism okay and therefore uh, okay I realize I don't quite like this answer so I'm going to change it okay and therefore okay ensuring the security of both Singapore and Malaysia Okay, so I want everyone to make sure that when you are writing your answer, okay, you are linking back for this.
okay your explanation should show how the evidence means that merger was beneficial Okay, so linking this back again to your initial inference. Okay, so source B is on whether it, what it can be reliable in saying. Then what we are doing next in the second paragraph is to evaluate uh, source B's reliability based on cross-referencing. Okay, so you will start your second paragraph by saying this. However, source B can be challenged by source D. Okay, which states merging with Malaysia will only bring strife, unhappiness and repression. So we know that D says different things from B. So give us the evidence first again. Quote the evidence. Okay, quote evidence. That shows how merger is not beneficial. Since we are challenging source A, okay, oh, sorry, since we are challenging what source B says, okay, so this suggests that merger would not benefit Singapore. So again, you notice we are relating it, okay, back to the initial inference, which is the base source inference. Okay, as it will only cause instability to the country due to different conflicts that will arise from this agreement. Okay, so this explains how the evidence shows Singapore will not benefit. Okay. And the next thing that is extremely important which you will need to write is the what we call the linking statement. Okay, what is this linking statement for? The linking statement is to explain to the markers why are you making this cross-referencing. Okay, because if you don't write this linking statement, then your cross-referencing wouldn't make sense at all. Right, the marker will look at it and be like, okay, so why are you telling me that source B can be challenged by source D? So you need to tell me, since source B can be challenged by source D, it is thus unreliable, okay, or some of you will say less reliable, in saying that merger would benefit Singapore. Okay, so again, you are linking this back to the initial inference. Okay, uh, as mentioned in class, some of you can go on to do a second cross-referencing if you are not comfortable with evaluating the provenance. Or if you have time, you can do the second cross-referencing plus this last paragraph, okay? So our last paragraph is to evaluate source B's reliability based on provenance and the purpose. Okay, so we are using the provenance to identify the purpose. And from the purpose, we are linking it to whether the author may be reliable or not. Okay, so you can start the answer by saying this by evaluating the source further okay source b is not entirely reliable as it is adapted from a speech made by tengku abdul rahman so what you have done in the first line here is to show that okay you are evaluating provenance okay provenance means where the source comes from basically Okay, then what you will do next is to, from the provenance, show us the uh, purpose, okay? So the Tengku will want to convince the members of the federal parliament, okay, that merger would be beneficial to the federation. So you notice over here, okay, this is the message, okay, which is similar to the inference in paragraph 1 okay which is that merger would benefit them okay so why do they want to do this so that the members will support the decision to merge with Singapore so this is the outcome 
Okay, it was crucial for Tengku to gain the support of the members because I know that Tengku faced a lot of opposition to merger at that point in time. So over here, what you are doing, okay, is to actually mention or explain, okay, the situation Tengku was in. Okay, which affects the things he said. So essentially, right, this is the context of the source. Okay, so finally, you will go on to mention, as such, the Tengku would want to highlight only the benefits to both Singapore and especially Malaysia in his speech. Okay, would... Okay, I'm adding this only one to highlight. So you'll notice over here what we have done. Okay. Okay, is to explain how the purpose of the author okay, affects his reliability. Okay, which is that he is highly likely to only show a one-sided story. Okay, or he is li highly likely to exaggerate or he is highly likely to lie. And therefore, because of uh, this situation, source B is not reliable okay, or less reliable. So essentially, right, if you all think about it, for your uh, reliability question, okay, it's really just three steps. Okay, so just to uh, repeat one final time, I'll write it at the top over here. Okay. So, step number one. Okay, is to explain what the source can be reliable in saying. Okay, step number two is to evaluate if the source is really reliable. Okay, true cross referencing. Okay, but some of you may notice, okay, that but the other sources may also be unreliable. What so, which is why we cannot only do cross referencing, and which is why we have our third paragraph where we evaluate. Okay, if the source is truly reliable true provenance okay and its purpose all right okay so if you all have any other questions make sure to clarify them and if not uh, all the best for the class test. So remember, we'll be testing you on inference, purpose, as well as reliability. You do need to read up on the content so that you are more familiar with the events that are mentioned in the sources and it will be easier for you to make your analysis. Right? The rest of the answers for other practices have also been uploaded onto Padlet. So make sure that you have gone to look at it Okay, cross-check with your own answers to see if you have managed to get uh, the different components right. So take note that your answers, even if they are slightly different, it doesn't mean that they are totally wrong. Okay, so look out for the annotations to see if you have managed to do what uh, the annotations are saying. Lah, because those are the explanations of why the different answers are like that. Alright, all the best and have a good weekend.